What's going on guys, welcome to another video, and today, today is the finale. This is the final episode this year for my top 100 favorite movies of all time. Guys, we did it. We started this, I believe, in like July. Took some time to make some other videos. Took some time off because I had schoolwork and other work I had to do. But we're here before the end of the year. We made it. We did it. Today is the top 10. I'm so excited. Um, today's video is going to be a little different from the other ones. What we're going to do is catch you up, but instead of just doing the last episode, we're going to roll through all 100 um, or the honorable mentions through uh, 10. And then I will get into it. And basically what it is, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to give a big review of each film. I'm going to tell you what I liked, why it's where it is. We'll tell you where it is, and then we will be on our happy merry ways. But guys, thank you so much for sticking around for this series. I love doing it. Um, I did it last year for the first time. I got a lot of criticism. These people said, Jack, you haven't watched a lot of movies. And then this year, I did the 100 Movies I Missed Challenge. I watched 151 new movies I had never seen before. So there you go. <laughs> um, so the list, safe to say, was a lot different than last year. And next year, when I do it again, because safe, safe to say I will do it again, it'll probably be a lot different than it was before. So um, I'm very excited to see how it changes again next year. Um, but this year, this is where it sits. So uh, without further ado, I don't, I don't want this to be an hour long video. So let's just kind of get into it. Uh, I'm gonna go through all of them and just bear with me, ladies and gentlemen. So the honorable mentions, uh, at 110 we had long shot. 109 was Get Out, 108 was Good Time, 107 was Creed, 106 was Green Book, 105 was Joker, 104 was American Made, 103 was Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, 102 was Zombieland, and 101 was Spider-Man 2. We got 100 through 91. 100 was Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, 99, Toy Story 2, 98, Parasite, 97, The Fate of the Furious, 96, Top Gun, 95, Deadpool, 94, The Sandlot, 93, Us, 92, Saving Private Ryan, and 91, The Incredibles. 90 through 81. 90s, There Will Be Blood, 89, Election, 88, Star Wars A New Hope, 87, Lady Bird, 86, Casablanca, 85, Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl, 84, John Wick, 83, Finding Nemo, 82, A Christmas Story, and 81, Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. 80 through 71. Uh, 80 is Fast Five, eight, 79, Return of the Jedi, 78, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, 77, Star Wars The Force Awakens, 76, Ready Player One, 75, The Other Guys, 74, Back to the Future Part Three, 73, Iron Man, 72, First Man, and 71 was The Town, 70 through 61, 70, Toy Story 3, 69, Uncut Gem, 68, Casino Royale, 67, How to Train a Dragon, The Hidden World, 66, Logan, 65, Zodiac, 64, The Martian, 63, Star Wars, Revenge of the Sith, 62, The Lion King, the original animated, and 61, National Treasure, Book of Secrets, 60 through 51. 60, Raiders of the Lost Ark, 59, Moneyball, 58, A Charlie Brown Christmas, 57, American Sniper, 56, Guardians of the Galaxy, 55, John Wick Chapter 3, Parabellum, 54, The Avengers, 53, Drive, 52, The Prestige, and 51, Seven Samurai. 50 through 41, 50, Jojo Rabbit, 49, Elf, 48, Skyfall, 47, the 2019 version of Little Women, 46, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, 45, Django Unchained, 44, The Godfather, 43, Interstellar, 42, Back to the Future, and 41, Captain America, The Winter Soldier. 40 through 31, 40, How to Train Your Dragon, 39, Knives Out, 38, Spotlight, 37, Marriage Story, 36, Monsters, Inc., 35, Three Billboards Outside of Missouri, 34, National Treasure, 33, Toy Story, 32, The Florida Project, and 31, The Nice Guys. <coughs> hmm. Talking so much. 30 through 21. 30, we got Black Klansman, 29, Looper, 28, Captain America Civil War, 27, Mission Impossible Fallout, 26, Hell or High Water, 25, The Peanut Butter Falcon, 24, Invincible, 23, Porch for Lady on Fire, 22, The Godfather Part 2, and 21, The Departed. And in the last episode, we did 20 through 11. 20 is The Dark Knight, 19 is The Empire Strikes Back. 18 is Mad Max Fury Road, 17 is Book Smart, 16 is 1917, 15 is Spider Man into the Spider Verse, 14 is Harry Potter and Death Hallows Part 2, 13 is the Grand Budapest Hotel, 
12 is Avengers Infinity War, and 11 is 13 hours. Let's not dilly-dally, that was a lot. Let's get into the top 10. Coming in number 10 is Nightcrawler. Jake Gyllenhaal was snubbed for an Oscar nomination, and I genuinely believed he was snubbed for the Oscar for this role. He is transformative. He is terrifying. He is scary. He delivers brilliant lines of dialogue. He is fantastic in this movie. It's directed amazingly. It's shot really well. I mean, the dynamic between him and Rene Russo is scary, but you're intrigued. You want to see what happens. And it's a very interesting look at the world of news. It really is. I'm not going to say it's completely factual. I'm not going to say it's completely fake. It's a really great look into news. I really enjoy it. It's fantastic. It comes in number 10 on my list. Coming in at number 9 is Ford v. Ferrari. Maybe recency bias, but I really do not think so because it's a fantastic movie. The performances by Matt Damon and Christian Bale in this are brilliant. I think the racing action is fantastic. I watched a video on the sound mixing of this film, and it is really impressive. And the story, it's based off a true story, and it's just, it's done so well. And I, it left me at the edge of my seat. I was just intrigued from start to finish. It's amazing. And it comes in number nine on my list. Speaking of fast cars, uh, coming in number eight is Baby Driver. Um, this film is incredible. I, I think Edgar Wright directs this film brilliantly. I think the editing, <coughs> excuse me, the editing with the music is fantastic. Um, you know, the, the performances overall are really well done. And the story of this getaway driver that just wants to get out of the business is amazing. I, I really, really enjoy this film. I've watched it a few times this year. Um, and it's really damn good. I really enjoy it. And it comes at number eight on my list. Coming in at number seven is The Wolf of Wall Street. My favorite Scorsese film of them all. My favorite... Yeah, my favorite Leonardo DiCaprio performance. I mean, it's it's such an interesting because it's like it's based off a true story, but it feels like it's like a fantasy, but it's like definitely based off a true story. Um, I it's a long movie, but it doesn't feel that way. It it runs by like it goes by really quickly, and I'm just sell me this pen, sell me this pencil, you know, sell. I I mean, it it's just a brilliant movie. I, I love it so much, and it comes in at number seven. Coming in at number six is Arrival. I, I mean, this this movie just just completely made my mind melt, and I didn't know what was happening. But the performances are fantastic. I think it's written fantastic. Denny Villeneuve directs his absolute booty off with this film. It is really, really, really well done. The ending reveals didn't make sense for me at first, but when they clicked, I was like, oh my god, this is brilliant. Um, and it's just overall a really damn good film. I just really enjoyed it. Um, and I mentioned it's beautifully shot. It's a beautiful movie. But I mean, overall, it's just such a, a, a spectacular, stunning movie. And it comes in at number five. Number six, I ex excuse me, number six on. Coming to number five is The Social Network. Um, a brilliant movie. I mean, Sorkin uh, wrote it and then Fincher directed it. Um, I believe Aaron Sorkin wrote it. Yes, he did. I mean, Jesse Eisenberg. I mean, this movie was snubbed for a bunch of Oscars. I mean, The King's Speech winning in 2010. It's a good movie, but The Social Network is, is just brilliant. It's a brilliant movie. Um, but I could go on and on about, you know, people being snubbed for Oscars all day. We'd be here all day. Um, but it is brilliant writing, direction, performances, everything it is just so well done. The score is, like, very inventive and transformative. And now it's been mimicked a lot um, in the industry. Uh, but it's just, just a fantastic movie. It's such an interesting concept. And the way it's told is fascinating. Um, and, yeah, it comes at number five on my list. Number four is a whiplash. Oh my God, Damien Chazelle, man, is, is the man. Um, just brilliant performances. I mean, J.K. Simmons won the Oscar and he absolutely deserved it. I think Miles Teller is also fantastic in this film. Um, it's the, the road and what you will do to be the best and be perfect. And safe to say I have felt that before. Like I've wanted to be the best. I've wanted to be perfect. And the... the, the, the the lengths you will go to to achieve that. And this film 
is, is absolutely a character study of someone that wants to be the best and how far will he go. It's directed brilliantly, it's shot brilliantly. The, the ending sequence is, is one of the best sequences in film, I would say, and it's just amazing. And it comes at number four on the list. You know, this one on rewatch may move up a spot, but for right now it's at number three, and that is La La Land. Damien Chazelle again. This film, you know, th there aren't many films that when I watch them, they leave a lasting impact on me, and I really like remember them and think about them so much. I saw this film in like June, and it's December, and I have not stopped thinking about this film. It's a perfect film. I give it 100 out of 100. I think it's a, the perfect love story. Bear with me. I'm gonna make a video essay on that at the beginning of next year. Um, the, the music is fantastic. The soundtrack literally has zero skips. I, I listen to the soundtrack full length all the way through and enjoy every second of it. It's a brilliant movie. It really is. And it's a movie about two people that love each other but understand that chasing their dreams is important. And God, it's just a brilliant movie. I love it. Danny Chazelle is the man. <coughs> I'm sorry, I've recorded four videos before this. My voice is a little raspy. Damien Chazelle's the man. That's all I really got to say. He's the man. I love this film to absolute death. I would go to the grave for it. It's a brilliant movie, and it comes in at number three on the list. Coming to number two is Inception. I mean, Christopher Nolan is the man. I said Damien Chazelle's the man. Christopher Nolan's like the man. Uh, this movie is just... It's, it's so inventive and creative and the story is, is spectacular and mystical and it just doesn't seem real. The performances are great. The writing on this film is solid. It, it, like, like, solid, like solid concrete solid. solid. Um, Nolan directs it brilliantly. I mean, the behind the scenes of this stuff is fantastic. I love this movie. It's another 100 out of 100 for me. I, I think it's, it's brilliant what it does and you can watch it numerous times and every time you watch it you experience or see something new that you didn't beforehand a damn good movie. it really is and it comes in number two on my list what's at number one guys what do you think <laughs> messing with you it's avengers endgame i mean it's by far my favorite film of all time it's it's just the culmination of 11 years, 20 plus films, the payoff on of payoffs. I mean, it's brilliant. I, seeing where our characters started to where they got to, seeing how, how you could possibly save what happened at the end of Infinity War. And then this film discovers that. We've got, you know, so many brilliant moments. You know, Captain America with Mjolnir, the portal sequence, I am Iron Man. Just so many moments that blow me away and made, made me the movie fan that I am today. This isn't the first movie that did it. I would say Infinity War was the movie that really snapped me into shape. But this movie really cemented it. I was like, my God, I love movies. And I love the medium of, of film. And although Scorsese doesn't consider MCU movies cinema, they're still movies. And that's what this movie and this, the experience of this movie is is unforgettable and will never be topped I think in my mind it, I don't think it will be. Um, it's amazing and it's my favorite movie it's my favorite movie of all time guys that is it that is the top 10 let's round it out one more time 10 is Nightcrawler 9 is Ford v Ferrari 8 is Baby Driver 7 is The Wolf of Wall Street 6 is Arrival 5 is The Social Network 4 is Whiplash 3 is La La Land 2 is Inception and number 1 is Avengers Endgame guys let me know down below what you think of the list this year were you surprised with where things ended up I mean I know it is vastly different than last year 100% it's a lot it is it, 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 it's a very th this series is the series for me that takes the most time because I, I make the list I gotta rank everything I gotta make sure I know where everything goes um, and it's very rewarding it's a very rewarding series to make and I'm so glad that you guys held on 
watched until the very end. I got a special video coming out for you guys soon, um, a montage edit that I'm working on that I'm very excited about. Um, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Thanks so much for watching the series. I'm so excited to do, do it again next year. Um, it's a lot of fun, but guys, that's pretty much it. Have a rest of your day, and we'll see you in the next video.